flip as you can see I'm playing Watch Dogs on the PC now do you notice anything here what the fuck are they sitting on nothing now while this is not a game breaking glitch or anything one little small problem <laughs> you forgot to put the bench in here silly silly Ubisoft that's all I needed to show off in this video stay tuned Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ace back again, as you saw in that last little blip of that video there. Just one small little glitch. And I really wasn't going to do this part of the video, but, well, as time goes on and I've played more of Watch Dogs, yes, I know I'm a hypocrite for buying the damn thing after I said I wouldn't. Now, let's just get into this. <sighs> Where do I start? I decided to get Watch Dogs on Steam because I wanted to play something new before Mario Kart 8 comes out. I didn't really want to wait till Mario Kart 8 comes out, uh, even though it was only a few days. So I decided I'll get it on Steam. Now, yes, graphically, it's the best version, and uh, my computer can handle the game pretty much on max settings. For the most part, that is. Uh, now, I've had very few, I would say, glitches. I've put about seven hours into the game. Uh, and honestly, I've made so little progress, it's not even funny. And I've actually been trying to make a fair amount of progress. The game is just... It's... It's so bad. And I don't mean, like, every bit of it. I just mean key areas of the game are so bad and like I I decided to be generous and give Ubisoft a second chance since I hadn't bought a game of theirs since Zombie U back in 2012 I went all of 2013 without buying a single Ubisoft game so I got this <laughs> and I literally feel like, you know, in the game, if you've played it yourself, or seen trailers and whatnot, you can hack people's phones and steal their money from their bank accounts and everything. I feel like this is all Watch Dogs is, was a big ruse, a big disguise, a big, um, trick to get people to basically steal people's $60 for the game. I mean, in Canada, if you bought it on PS4 or Xbox One, that'd be $70. Uh, on Steam, it was 60 so I did save 10 bucks that way. But, uh, I, it's, seriously, the more, when I first started playing it, I was having fun, but the more I play it, the more I hate it. I don't want to hate it, I honestly want to like it, I really truly do. And some of my concerns are just with the PC version. It kind of seems like what I've been reading about with people's expectations or people's uh, reactions is, it kind of seems to have a few issues with the PC version which is the controls oh my goodness the controls mainly for the driving are so bad like the worst controls in a driving game ever and then the mouse um, when you're like at the menu and you're just moving the mouse around oh it's like you're I don't know, it's like the freaking mouse weighs a hundred thousand pounds. It's so slow and sluggish and you can tell it was kinda like made for like a a controller, like a a console controller. Now originally I was hoping I could play with the Xbox three sixty controller and you can, but you can't you have to have a wired controller, which I only have four wireless ones, go figure. And the play and charge kit doesn't fucking make it a wired controller, unfortunately. So I've been using, you know, the keyboard and mouse and everything. And it's just so bad. I've played seven hours. I'm not even on Act 2 yet. Uh, what else? I've died, like, I don't even know how many times. 25 fucking times. The DRM crap is pissing me off in the game. And this always online thing where people can join your game. Fucking stupid. I mean, I already knew about that and I wasn't a fan of it and then I still bought the damn game in the first place. But I just, ugh. 
Man, it, it sucks. Like, I'm at a, I was at a part where I'm like, oh, let's go try and continue on with the game. And then you go to try and do the mission, and it triggers someone randomly joining you uh, from their game or whatever. And you're just like, no, fuck this. Get out of my game. I don't want to go track you down. And then I did it, and it's like, oh, we got to find other people in my game. It's like, I don't fucking care about this multiplayer shit. Ugh. <sighs> And then Ubisoft lies, of course, when they said, oh, seamlessly people join. It doesn't work that way. There's loading and all that crap. It's, it's not just poof, they're in your game. Fucking corporate PR bullshit. Seriously. What else do I have a problem with? The cops. Maybe it's because of the mouse. I don't know. Maybe it'd be easier with a key, uh, not a keyboard, a uh, controller. But even just, you know, moving around and shooting and trying to have a shootout with the cops... I get my ass handed to me after like three cops. It's ridiculous. And the, like I said before, the driving with the keyboard, oh my goodness, I'm trying to go down the middle of the road and I can't even do half the fucking missions because it's unplayable with the fucking controls on a keyboard. Seriously. I swerve all the way to the, like I just tap the, uh, what is it, A button, because he used WASD to drive. And I tap the A button to turn to the left just a little bit. And I, like, fucking fling my car and swerve off the damn road and crash into, like, bus sign or what do you call it, bus stops and road signs and pedestrians and run their asses over. And then I'll try and be like, no, go back to the road. And then I tap right and, woof, I revert or swerve all the way to the fucking right side of the road and crash into buildings and, and other parked cars and everything. And it's, it's so uber sensitive. It's retarded. And there's nothing I can do because literally all I do is tap and I swerve. And there's like missions where you have to, you're like on a time limit where you have to reach checkpoints. I can't do that because the controls are so unbearably bad for driving. It's, it's just so bad. I can't even get over it. What else? Um, you can't outrun the cops as easily as like in the Need for Speed games, that's for sure. It, like they will try. Uh, what's the word? Even if you completely lose them, like, they'll be, like, blocks away l looking around for you, it doesn't count towards them, uh, what do you call it? Like, the cooldown period. Uh, I don't even know where, what else to say. It's... I really want to enjoy the game. And the hacking thing, like, with the combat, when you're trying to take out groups of enemies and be stealthy and, and hack cameras and everything, I don't find it as well executed as I thought it would be like they really are trying to make it so you have to or well they're making it so you know hack everything they always say oh you can hack everything which is basically true but sometimes you don't want to hack and they, it seems like they're really you're cramming it down your fucking throat when all it seems to do is take up time and just kind of waste your time so this is, I don't know if I'm going to call this like a review because I'm not done the damn game. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish the damn game. Seriously. I try and play for half an hour and I just get so furious, or what's the word, infuriated and frustrated and pissed off and just not enjoying it. I wish I could do a fucking refund on Steam, but you can't. At least I don't think you can. I'm pretty sure you can't. <sighs> so my advice... Stay the fuck away from this game. Ubisoft, I don't know who's worth or er, who's worse. You or Bethesda with your fucking glitches and your terrible programmers. Like, you delayed this game so long. And it still feels like crap. I mean, there is some good aspects in the game, no doubt. But there's major key factors in the game that are just way under par, way not up to the par, or not up to the bar of where they need to be, and it's just it's terrible I don't know, I can't speak for the Playstation 4 or the Xbox One versions or whatever, but seriously, my advice is just stay the fuck away from the game it's I'm, I gave you a second chance, Ubisoft with your most hyped up, your most biggest game of the year and and it's terrible I'm gonna be generous once more and I'll give you right now I'll give it a 5 out of 10 
and that's being extraordinarily generous. Mediocre, and I don't even think it honestly deserves that. And the draw distance is kind of a weird thing. It's not that far. I would, I'm kind of surprised. Monolith Soft's X game has much, much further draw distance, or render distance if you prefer, but whatever. So Ubisoft, I mean, congrats. You you once again proved my point that I should never have bought the game in the first place and that I was right not to support you. So congrats on getting $60 of mine, like seriously, but unless I see a Red Steel 3 on Wii U, I'm not fucking buying a game of yours ever fucking again. I don't care what it is. I don't care Assassin's Creed and a Watch Dogs 2 uh, more Rayman Legends, more Splinter Cell, more of that crap. I don't care what the fuck you make. You guys have proven your games are all hype and no sustenance. No... What's the word? And there is actually a lot to do in Watch Dogs, so I can't say there's not a lot to do, but it's just not executed properly. It's just a f clusterfuck, really. Oh, but I've rambled on for 11 fucking minutes, so... I'm gonna wrap up this video. Damn shame. I'm still gonna try and play it a little bit, day after day. See if I can make any kind of progress, but it's just so bad, it's not even funny. And if people are thinking that I'm, you know, bullshitting, fine, spend your $60 on the PC version and play it. You're going to run into the same fucking shit as I am. 8 out of 10, most I saw most uh, people giving it a review, and some people are saying, like, that's a bad score. No, sadly, that's... I remember when 5 out of 10 was an average score, but nowadays 8 out of 10 is actually the average. Uh, whether it's a good game, whether it's a bad game, 8 seems to be like an average score. So, it, I'm expecting Mario Kart uh, 8 to get, like, 9.5s, 9s out of 10s. Ugh, I, I, even though I really don't like Nintendo, at least I know Mario Kart 8 is gonna fucking work and have good gameplay. And I'll be able to drive a damn car properly. <laughs> Seriously. Ugh. And Watch Dogs does look good graphically. I mean, it's not uh, Unreal Engine 4, you know, pushing the systems to its absolute limit, but it's, it's fine for what it is. Anyway... Watchdogs, ugh. More like, uh, I can't even think of a freaking clever name. Uh, Watch Dud. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, anyway, I'm original bloody. So stay tuned. As always, more videos coming soon, and I will be hopefully doing a video. Uh, it's Wednesday now. Uh. Friday. Well, I'll definitely be doing a Mario Kart 8 unboxing video Friday. I need to do more Twitch fiddling around because I haven't done that in a while. I need to see if I can get that stream going so I can do the OBA tournaments. Um, I still want to do the first OBA tournament on Mario Kart 8 on the weekend. I don't know if I want to say Friday because I'm going to be playing the Grand Prix mode. I won't have even gotten through all the courses yet then if I don't if we do it on Friday. So maybe Saturday we'll do one. That's not set in stone, but we'll see. Anyway, now I'm wrapping up the video. I'm original Blood Ace. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Ubisoft. Bye <laughs> bye. I'm done with you. Bye bye.